I don't know if Drake got his SUV yet. Drake, have you got your uh, Pearl Sangway yet? Hey guys, I just got my pair of Sangway. I'm so excited. Uh, you know, just looking at it without knowing too much about the car, how it works and so forth. You can see it's really beautiful. Um, I love the uh, carbon fiber um, trimmings that I have on there because you could have painted or carbon fiber. So I had carbon fiber throughout the car. I, I think this yellow is a beautiful uh, color yellow. Uh, really works for the car. And then the accents that inside the car. So I think it overall looks really, really cool. Um, and it, from the from the side, looks like it's only one door, like a coupe. But of course, it opens up uh, with a suicide door and a regular front door, so it opens up, opens up really well. But when it's closed, it looks like kind of a coupe coupe. So it's really um, really good. And and you know, a lot of my friends, a lot of people that saw this says, "Hey, it looks better than Urus," which is uh, quite a compliment. It's not as tall. It's a, it's a, you know it's a that's a the F U. A V, it's 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 um, it's a little bit it's taller than a car, but it's not as tall as a regular SUV. So it's it's it. I think that's where where the driving experience is also better too. You know, um, like again, the interior, you, you see the buttons uh, and so forth. It's indented, um, so maybe a little easier to to touch because it was a little not and the prior wasn't as responsive but now it just seems like it's it's dedicated so it's more responsive. You know, then then you have these up a couple of things here. You got this button here, you push, and it's it's a um, steering wheel heater, warmer. So it warms the hand. I'm like, whoa, this is a Ferrari? Why does it have that? Now here we got the, this, it's about the seats. Here is the, um, the, the, the heat, and here's the coal. Here's the heat, and here's the air to keep cool down your chair. And then again, it can have in any of the seats. You can control that, okay? This is the, obviously the driver's seat. Now, the, the other thing, you can have is the lumbar support. You know, you can have the different uh, lumbar supports, different areas, you know, to, to, to make it where, you know, you're, you're really comfortable in the chair. Now, the, the, this is the massage on any, any of the seats, obviously, so it's any of the seats, but you can have mas different massage settings to massage whatever part of your back. Wow. I mean, I've never seen this before. So, I mean, that, that's like, that's like Rolls-Royce level stuff. I mean, it's, 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 it's tremendous that Ferrari has this. The first time I've seen them have it. Well, first I want to tell you about this uh, reverse mirror. It's a really good camera. It's like real life. This is the best uh, uh, rear view, uh, digital rear view mirror that I've seen so far. As if you were just looking back as a mirror, looking back, uh, seeing the cars behind you but it's digital, it's from a camera. That's kind of amazing. In terms of color, you know, I had ordered this, you know, long ago, and when, and, and, and it's, you know, we're into the hopper, you know, and I get my cars quite early. If you, if you change it along the way, close to when they're in the production, it could delay. And, uh, and so I didn't change it. And uh, I thought about, because I thought about doing this blue, you know, I'm trying to put more cars in my blue stable, which you guys will see soon. And and if and, if, and if this car in blue would not be maybe not take, not not be so uh, attention grabbing. I think we could go to more places with it because this car really could be an everyday driver. It's not my everyday driving car, but I would drive it a lot. I could drive it a lot. And blue would just be a little bit more subtle, um, where the yellow here really catches your eyes. It really shouts and, and screams attention. So. I, f I figured, I, okay, let it come the way I ordered it, so there's no delay. And uh, I can always wrap it and put it in my blue stable. You know, we know that Enzo was uh, more of a racer and a visionary than a businessman. We know that, right? Um, but, but me being a businessman, and we also know that if you don't change with the times, 
you're actually going backwards. And, and, and a Ferrari is a business, is a major business, uh, international business. You, you need to apply the, the, the business acumen to it. Now, okay, there's ways to do it. You know, is it, is it just, um, can we still do it with the integrity of the company? I think Enzo, again, you know, to him, he was racing, sports cars, and so forth. You know, he, it wasn't, you know, he, he felt that this would dilute the, the, the image of Ferrari. But in today's world, do you feel uh, an SUV, having an SUV in your, in, in your lineup, it takes away from the image of the company? I don't think so. I mean, especially when you see so many car companies doing it. Porsche, of course, has been doing it for years. Uh, Bentley, Lamborghini in recent years, and Aston Martin, and everybody is doing it, so it's become an acceptable uh, type of uh, vehicle model. And it's a good selling vehicle model, too. It's not like it's, you know, you're making something that's not, um, I, I think, you know, compared to the prior models, like the like the, um, the, GT, the GTC Ford Lusso or the FF, although I had those cars, I liked them. I think this is really more better and usable than those models. And that this model would be a staple that that will con Ferrari would continue to make, continue to make it better, have different uh, iterations of it. And but but it's not going to hurt the image. I mean, I don't think it hurts the image of Ferrari. Ferrari is still making the ultra performance uh, cars you know listen they're making cars you know the Icona series with the uh, SP1 SP2 SP3 those are not the most uh, uh, highest performance cars they bring back a retro feel like a V12 you know that my SP3 coming it's a V12 that's not the fastest uh, technology right now but it's it's visual it's it, people like it. It, it you know they like the sound they like the V12 uh, um, you know performance and, and, and that's acceptable. Though. That's not a step back for Ferrari. It's just a, it's a matter of fact. It's just giving the client more what they want. So I think I think it's I like it. I think people that I talk to everybody likes it. I think you know we respect what 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 uh, Enzo has thought, but um, but he's just from a different era, you know. And we all know he's respectfully. He's not a business person, which is fine. But for business, we need to move ahead. Good sound. Good sound. I don't know any other Ferrari where you can also do that one-handed. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you listening to some Drake. Yeah, yeah, we are. I don't know if Drake got his uh, SUV yet uh, or uh, Pura Sangway. Drake, have you got your uh, Pura Sangway yet? Is making an SUV. So in business, to be six, to successful, it takes a certain mindset uh, in order to do that. And you're, and you're not normally born with it. It takes development. It takes mentorship uh, uh, from somebody to for you to learn. I mean, my father was my big mentor, and and then throughout, uh, I, I would, I've been learning peer to peer with other business people smarter than me uh, to do that. So that's why I develop, uh, you know, this uh, mentor program, professional mentor program called Inner Circle from uh, Titan Education. We have great uh, cohorts that we learn together. Me and my partner, the leading um, entrepreneur professor of USC, uh, Albert Napoli, we do this together. We have a lot of fun uh, mentoring um, these entrepreneurs. And, you know, it's so lucky. I, I mean, I wish I had this kind of program when I was starting off. But for them, it's really great. And they're, they're doing so well with it. I mean, getting to know, knowing the answers to what they don't know, they couldn't know because they just don't have the experience. It's just not there yet. They're not, they've they haven't even experienced it. And we give them a glimpse of what is to come. And it's just so useful. Um, so, I mean, if you guys are, I know you guys are Ferrari guys, but uh, I think uh, everybody's striving to be better. And you may have your own business, your own career, but if you want to be better, check out our uh, inner circle. So this, the Pura Sangue is really as closest to a daily car that you can have for a Ferrari, which is what I think. Although it's not my daily car, I have uh, another daily car and I have, you know, other like the Ro Rolls Royce Spectres coming. So that'll be also another one that I can probably drive more often. But uh, it's more my daily car so I can wear my daily watch, you know, and, and so forth and just kind of do my daily things. 
uh, I, I foresee it will probably be a Ferrari that I would drive more often than the others. In terms of um, the, the the watch, you know, I, I do have a number of watches. I like I like Daytonas. I guess I get, I like the whole the series of Daytona, which is really a chronograph, a sport, uh, stopwatch. I have the steel one, black and and, and 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 white. I like the glacier blue face with the with the diamond kind of uh, uh, baguette uh, markers. It's got the weight platinum. It's got some weight to it. It's not as light as stainless steel. But I think it's 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 all around good because like for business, I think it's more substantial. You can have it for business. It's sporty where you can have it for, I'm going to play golf in it. And it's going to be fine. And uh, it's more versatile. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the ride. Let's go golfing.